Hello everybody, the Warm Warm Panda here and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4 The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we did more side quest stuff and uh Yeah, we're get, get, gonna do more side quests and we still have to fight those guys that's in the air and it's really hard to aim from down here, so I think I'm gonna try to use a rocket. And wait, all right. yeah. So let's. Uh, oh crap! I got two out, but it's fine. Let's use fuse and. Oh, I don't want to do that. Are you serious? Okay, there we go. Let's try to find them. Okay, yes. Where is the other one? Ow. Did I fight all of them? <laughs> Alright, I'll handle the rest of them. Wait, no, I can't do that. Okay, there's one more. Uh. And of course I'm gonna have to... Eat one of these. And now let's grab another rocket. And fuse. Come on. Where is that other one? There you go. Okay, got it? Gotta make sure not to fall and get hurt this time. Mm. What the? You don't even have wings! How'd you fight monsters so high up? Oh. Who cares? What matters is you did it. Great work. Now I can get these supplies from Sofield Stable back to my village. Please give me, let me give you something for your efforts. Ah. It's less than you, you deserve, but it's also all I have. A purple rupee. Oh. I better deliver these supplies before mo more monsters show up. Take care. Okay, so we got this quest done. So now I gotta find another one. Okay, next up we need to go over here. I'm just gonna put it right there. So I think we might have to fast travel to this Skyview Tower and then make our way a little bit over there for a bit. This might take a while. Okay, so I think we're getting close enough to where it is. So I believe it's that campfire over there. Yeah, here we are. There is this guy right here. Mm. Hey, you happen to bump into a Hylian named Selmy around here? Maybe you've heard of her, a famous shield surfer called the Duchess of Downhill Hill back in the day. Anyway, she retired and took me and my buddy on as students. She's been teaching out of this area. Just recently, somebody said she was going to build a new course for us to really push our shield surfing skills. Aww. She set off for that slope, but then she disappeared. Me and my buddy haven't been able to find her. She used to be a pro shield surfer, so you'd think she sh could shred her way out of any situation up here. So, now, I, now, I think she might be in trouble. There was traces of shield surfing on a slope nearby. I followed her, those are all over the place. Mm. The traces are serving in the snow cut off around this area. Still haven't found her anywhere. I followed the tracks again and again, but no sign of Selmy. I had no choice but for now but to stop looking. 
I've se I'm sending up a so smoke signal. Hopefully, Selmy or my best buddy get Russ can see it. He's back at her lodge on Hebra Peak. You think that if Selmy were here, she would have seen the smoke by now? But nope, nothing. Maybe she's here but it can't move, or maybe she's stuck in a place where she can't see the smoke signal. At the Duchess who disappeared. So let's see how to do it, figure, figure, figure how to figure that out. Okay, so we need to go down here. And wait. Oh yeah, there's this uh bunny rabbit that we can get some rupees out of and we have this cave here and let's head down this way I believe it's you we have to talk to what I thought I never see anyone in here Oh, I see. Yes, I'm Selmy. Aww. Oh no, I made my students worry about me. I guess I've been gone a long time. The terrible blizzard stopped, so I took advantage of the weather to go out and create a new course for my students. And then I found this cave. Just surfed right into my, in my, on my shield. Can't blame an old shield surfer for exploring, right? Hmm. I went in too far, though, where the cave got, got all closed off. I couldn't climb back out the way I came in. Worse yet, I heard rocks falling back up at the entrance. Thought I could it collapsed at some point. I was starting to think that I'd be stuck here back here forever, and no one would even be able to find the cave. Mm -hmm. But if you're here, that means you can't get back out the same way either, right? With any luck, we can find a different path that goes outside. Other than that, though, we've got no hope of escape. Okay, now we go down here, and basically we have to destroy this uh, these ro rocks here. Destroy, there we go. Guess we have to destroy a couple more times. Guess we have to talk to her again. Oh, those, those stones blocking the way. They've cr crumbled. I feel wind coming from outside somewhere. I'll live another day free to surf the slopes and under the bright sky. I've got nothing to give you now as thanks, but I've got an idea. Wherever you, whenever you like, stop by my lodge in the northwest of Hebrew Peak. We'll talk more there. You can always spot me from the bonfire out in front, so watch for that if you decide to come find me. Ah. Alright, better head back so my students can stop worrying. Remember, find me at my lodge on the peak. Okay, so where we have to go next is, yeah, over there. So we can just fast travel to this uh, Skyview Tower and head over there. Okay, here we are. I just fast traveled to this Skyview Tower and went all the way over here, and this is where we need to go, so we're pretty close to it now. Yeah, it's this uh, house right here. There's that bonfire, bon bonfire, bon bonfire that she talked about. Ooh, I want to shoot you. Okay, let's head inside here and talk to you again. I've been, I've been waiting for you. Thanks for coming all the way here. Mm. You saved Teach. Oh man, did we ever owe you one? Ah. I'm so stoked that Coach came back to us safe. Major respects from me, man. Who knows what would have happened to me if you hadn't come along? I've got to admit, getting some shield serving in, in all through the ca that cave was pretty darn great. But I'll be stay staying away from from there for a while. That's for sure. Oh. This time, the one that really owes you for what you did. I'll be the one to reward you. Here, take this. A strong Zonite shield. <laughs> I found that shield somewhere around some stones that get, get this, fell from the sky. What a beautiful thought. I thought there could be shield servers like us, way up there. Ah. I'll say it again. Thank you for getting me out of that cave. And now, also, now that the, that blizzard's over, come back here anytime you feel like shield surfing with us. I wasn't going to take on the third student, not with the these two keeping me busy. But for you, I'll make an exception. Ah. Welcome, buddy. We owe you big time anyway for rescuing Teach. Ah. Now see us on, you on the slopes. Best way to learn. Got that quest done. 
And now I gotta find another quest. Okay, next up where we need to go next to is over here at, at uh yeah this shrine. Okay, let's oh crap, uh well Okay, so let's try that again. I accidentally ran right into the the this little things there. So we need to go down this way. And over here to the flight range, this is very similar to the one in Breath of the Wild. And talk to this guy. Ooh, hello there, Link. It's been a while, hasn't it? T Teva told me about what, we, what you did, and with your help, that wretched blizzard is fi finally lifted. What's more, I hear you looked at after your long y young Tulin every step of the way. You have my thanks and my admiration for whatever an old bird's admiration is worth. Hoo hoo! Yeah. As you no doubt surmised, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Tiba's leadership. Now I spend my days here, at the flight range, help it, helping mold the next generation of Rita warriors. I regret to say that the blizzard ruined our old training equipment. Oh. But rather than try to recreate the old original course, I'm thinking there's an opportunity to prepare a new one. In this course, individuals will train their wits and agility by passing through a series of floating rings. My hope is that this will teach you warriors to fly more confidently even in unfriendly skies. That said, no one has actually attempted to this course as I only just finished it. Hopefully a brave warrior comes along soon to try it out. So we got Canelli's flight training. Cool. So you're stepping up. You want to try the my training course? What a surprise. Who? And, and an honor. The rules are simple. So we press through the, many of, my, of, my, of the floating rings as you pass before the time runs out. Oh, don't stand too far. Hmm? You'll be disqualified if you leave the flight range. Since this is your first attempt, I'll go easy on you. Let's say 15 rings is enough to earn a passing grade. Matters down, I'll give you a fitting reward. So can I give it a try? Let's do this. Do it marvelous. I'll show you the, the starting position. Ready? Then on your mark, get set. 3, 2, 1, go! This is also very similar to the... Uh, in Breath of the Wild, where you had to do this, except it's... It was kind of different. Oh crap, I kind of already screwed now. Oh, come on! Well, I, got, I think I got 15, so I think I got enough. Time's up! Through this time you cleared 17 rings. Well done, Link. You passed the f flying co colors. Who? Do you have a pair of wings hidden under there? You've set a high water mark for my trainee he's to aspire to. Clearly, I picked the right Hylian to give this course a spin. Please take this. Purple Rupee. Link, you have proven you are ready to, for more of a challenge. I suggest you, suggest you try the advanced course. You're welcome to train here as often as you like in exchange for a nominal participation fee. Please do come again, Link. Your feats are in. Inspiration to others. So I guess this is an easy way to, like, if you want a lot of rupees, you can keep coming here and playing this mini game. So, uh, well, I, this is, I just wanted to do this one thing, so I gotta find another quest here. Okay, next up where we need to go to is over here. So, we need to just fast travel to this shrine, I guess, and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, here we are. We're look, getting a little bit closer to where the cave is that we need to be. And it is right through here. Go down this way. Wait. Isn't this where I'm supposed to be? Okay, I think for this next thing, you actually have to go over here. There should be a shrine somewhere around here. So let's fast travel to this Skyview Tower. 
Okay, so over here, there's a shrine next to where I think we're supposed to be, so I think I'm actually just gonna do this shrine any do the shrine first. Before trying to find this person. So anyways, it's, I think it's been a, quite a while since we've actually even done the shrine. It's called Mayak Shrine. <laughs> Timely catches. Okay, so for th this, what we have to do here is uh, step, step on this platform. And now we're up here, so now we have to move this ball so that it goes down here. And now we need to... It, so that it lands on that switch. And now we wait for this to go up again. And now let's head over here. Now for this one. I'm gonna need to step on here and then come over here and cut that so the chest falls. Take the chest out. We have a large zone I charge. here and here we have this ball and then we need to place it here and then quickly drop down here oh crap um Can we hit it? Is the ball gonna fall? Of course I didn't move it close enough to where it didn't fall. Ugh, this is kind of confusing. You hit it. <laughs> yes, I hit the switch. Okay, so we got that done. Pretty easy puzzle, actually. Uh, light up blessing! So I think actually we need to go first to... Uh... Yeah, Joji... Ooh, ooh, shrine here.
Okay, so we need to go all the way over here, so we need to fast travel to this shrine here. And instead, I, I fast travel to the wrong shrine. So I believe it's over here. Yeah, here we go. This is who we're supposed to find. There's three different, like, separate, like, side quests for her. She wasn't act actually uh, the one that I first tried to go to, so let's talk to her. Oh. oh, hello there. Are you out on an adventure, too? I'm not, I'm not just on a journey across the land, but on a journey through time. I'm trying to find, get my eyes on, an old, on all the old stuff I can. I wanted to see if they had anything like that on, at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Oh. But it seems like some weirdos took the place over, so I'm pretty sure much at a standstill there. Huh? So do you, do you like ancient things? Ancient things? <laughs> you know, ancient, ancient things. Things that are ancient. Oh, just look at one look at them and it's like I've been transported through time. That's the thrill I'm looking for, but what should I go and see next? Oh, oh I've got it. Do you hear that they found fossils of, of giant leviathan things that I once lived in this land? It's true. How many, you ask? Not one, two, not two, but three giant fossils just waiting for me to say hello. But what should I meet first? Maybe I'll go introduce myself to the itty bitty Leviathan and Elden to, to start. Here, let me see your map for a second. Yeah, that's where we have to go, actually, again. You should be right around here. Oh, I can only imagine what he looks like, how beautiful he must be. Why don't you pay him a visit as well? I'm sure he'll sell your heart all a flutter. I'm too keyed up to stand around here. It's time to go make my dreams a reality. Elden's Colossal Fossil. So, yeah, she's gone now. So where we have to go is back over here. At least I can fast travel here since I did that shrine. Okay, so now we're here. So now we just need to head over this way. This is one of the great skeletons she was talking about. Assume we have to blow that up. Okay, well maybe she's outside of the Yeah, over here. Oh. I had a feeling you turned up, take a look. Pretty impressive that the, lo the, the Leviathan's eyes were fossilized too, right? Wrong. Because look again, the left eyeball is missing. Uh. So I, and I came out all this way. I wish I could have seen him with both of his cute little eyes still on his head. The other eyeball has to be around here somewhere, right? Why well, pay a small fortune for a chance like that? Okay, so we have to actually go to that boulder that we just un uncovered uh, after blowing up all these rocks. Yeah, it's over here. So let's take this big rock with us. And let's place it in the eye here. And now we go back to talk to her again. It took so long to walk all the way out here. I wish I could have seen him with both of his eyes in his head. Huh? Wait, huh? Ma? I can I can see both of his little eyes. Oh, just look at him, that big ferocious face with those cute round eyes. I'm not sure whether it'll ca to cower in fear or put him on his adorable baby, baby head. He's not just complete, he's perfect. <laughs> so he found his eyes and put him back together again. Thank you. Here, take this. This is the least I can do after you made my historical dreams come true. Uh, purple ruby. I could stay here all day, staring all day, uh, but there's two, still two more leviathans to me. I could hardly wait to see the next one. But how to choose? Maybe the wee leviathan in Hebrew is feeling lonely. Let me see your map. I'll show you where to find him. Ah. 
He's supposed to be around here somewhere. Wow. I just can't wait to see how cute the little guy is. In fact, what, what am I waiting for? I'm off to see him now. So long. So I think that's where I first tried to go to, but I forgot about like this is like it's part of like a three separate side quest. Now we got Hebra's colossal fossil, and uh, yeah, it's over here. So I'm gonna meet you guys back to where I just was for that uh, for that quest. So here we are again to where she should appear now. Yeah, here we go. I thought you might show up. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? How adorable is the sharp little mouth on the this Leviathan skeleton? He looks so different from the one in Elden 2. Maybe he's another species. Or should I say she? What if they're the same species, but one, one's a boy and one's a girl? Oh, it's just so fascinating. <gasps> what makes it even sadder that some of this little dumpling's bo bones are still missing? Uh, oh, wait, I actually... Uh, uh, missing? Uh, See for yourself. Hmm. In addition to one missing fin bone, one of the bones of this cutie spine is detached. Uh, uh, even every time I took on the long walk here, I thought... Well, I can't wait to see the fully intact Leviathan fossil. I bet the missing bones are still right nearby, too. Oh. I wish I could see it all together. I'd pay anything for one good look at it. Okay, so we have to go fix this skeleton here and put some bone pieces back in its place. So, I believe the first piece is over here. We just have to destroy these uh, rocks. Here we go. So let's bring this over here. And we need to position it in the correct way. I said correct way. The heck? Maybe we need to turn it upside down. There we go, that's the first part done. Now we need to go over here. Wait. So I think for this we just we can just use a flame emitter to burn this ice. There we go. Now we have this uh, part of the bone. We need to bring over here. Leave. Um. Okay, there we go. I believe that's done, so we can just go back up to where she is and say that we took care of it. Here we are. Uh, After all that way, way walking, I was really hoping to see the, the Levi Leviathan fully intact. Uh, you fixed it. You fixed it. Look at that. It's as good as new. Uh, 
I'll take the moment to drink it all in. Those elegant fins. That rigid back. It's simply breathtaking. I really can't thank you enough for fixing my precious Leviathan. This is for you. It's the least I can do after getting to see such a darling fossil. Purple rupee. Hmm. I'd love to say you're gazing, but there's still one more Leviathan out there. They've been waiting for me uh, for years, so I don't, I, don't, I don't want to make them wait even a second more. The, the last Leviathan is in the Gerudo region, so that's my next stop. Actually, let's, let me see your map. Ah. They should be right there. Wow. How adorable do you think they'll be? My money's not super adorable. What am I waiting around here? I've got to hit the road. Wait for me, cute little Leviathan. I'm coming for you. That's kind of weird that uh, she's so, like, obsessed about it, but oh, oh well. But we're going to take on Grudos Colossal Fossil in the next part, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about, about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for, for, for my Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.